For your hosting and domain needs, head over to HostGator where you can get plans starting as low as $3.95 a month. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Bloody Wolf. Awesome game. I first saw this game on the TurboGrafx-16. Um, this was one of their premier games, but this was actually released in the arcade by Data East. And it's basically, I would say, like Contra, kinda. Um, Contra and Commando and POW. Yeah, like that. <laughs> but as you can tell, it's like an overhead game. And the reason why I say it's like Contra because Contra obviously was a two-player military uh, action game, okay? And there were many others like that. There was Akari Warriors, and that's, like I said earlier, Commando was way before all of them, but that was more like a one-player affair. And this was a really uh, popular game on the TurboGrafx-16. It sold quite a few units because of this game, you know? And um, it did show the graphical prowess of the TurboGrafx-16 at the time. This game and uh, other games like Legendary Axe. And well, when I saw this, I was like, man, dude, this is awesome, you know? I mean, we were already used to Contra back then, but um, say what you will about the TurboGrafx, but the graphics, the graphics chip they had on there was definitely better than what was available um, on the Nintendo, and that makes sense. Oh, man. And here's the first boss. And so it does give you different options, you know, as you see, you know, you have different rooms you can go into. So, you know, if you're somebody who is coming from Contra, this definitely added more variety. And because of the, the view that it has, it has multi-level uh, levels, that's pretty cool. So, yeah. Oh, man. And I couldn't remember if this game actually had a uh, strategy element, you know, like in terms of like... Um, story that's what i meant a more of a story element so it's not just going from one state to another so here you're actually here to save pow's and um like i said earlier this is really very similar to the game pow by snk but that was more like a fighting action game but it reminds me a lot of that as well man there's there were so many good military games <laughs> i'd have to say i kind of i kind of miss them and one of my favorite overhead uh, military games, you know, this one has both overhead and side scrolling, but uh, Mercs by Capcom, that was really fun. Man, awesome. And this is a really well-made game, you know, Day to East, uh, they were big in the arcades back then. Um, every time I think about Day to East, I think about bad dudes, you know. But Bloody Wolf, the funny thing is though, when, when I thought about Bloody Wolf, I never thought about Data East. I just thought about Turbo Graphics, you know? And I think, if I'm not mistaken, when the games did come out on um, the Turbo Graphics, I think it was licensed to, uh, you know, NEC, who was the maker of the Turbo Graphics. So I don't remember if they actually had the name uh, Data East on there. Now, there are no grenades or secondary weapons. No, there it is. There's my flamethrower. I'm sorry. There is secondary. Okay. This has a three button setup. So here's your regular gun, the jump, and then whatever weapon you picked up. There's a third button right there, so. Whoa, oh man, I just, I just died. Wow, so where, where am I supposed to go after this submarine blows everything up? Nope, that's it, yeah. And it's pretty cool, I love the name of this game, Bloody Wolf, that just sounds cool, it's like, you know, if you're a kid, like, hey, you want to go play Bloody Wolf? Yeah, I definitely want to play Bloody Wolf. You know, that's probably something your mom didn't want you to play. Oh, now I got grenades. Okay. Boom. So you're saving oh, all these POWs. Oh, great. I died. Huh. Food. Huh. All right, great. And with two players, you know, um, this game was... Uh, easier with two players I, I don't think that the difficulty level was actually increased by too much whenever you play two players whoa and the graphics were pretty good you know 1988 really good graphics to me let me see I think uh, th that part I was at earlier I think that was a mid boss it's been such a long time since I played this game though so I don't I don't even remember like what I'm supposed to do 
the key is yeah so it does have a strategy element strategy and story that's what i was thinking i was thinking about because i remember bloody wolf it did have kind of a strategy element you know it's not just like you have there's places you got to go story and strategy in a way man a lot of enemies as you can see they they pretty much uh, did just a like color swapping uh for the characters i mean for the enemies and so um you know that there wasn't too much variety in terms of enemies so they're just color swapping come on let's see what we got here Ooh. okay i don't know if this is a mid boss or boss grenade time wow okay i just came in there for that but i do have a key um i don't even know where i'm supposed to use it <laughs> we'll find out Damn. and you know what's funny is just thinking about these military type games one of my favorites on the sega genesis was rambo you know or it was maybe it was rambo 3 because they do have a rambo 3 arcade game but it wasn't anything really like the genesis version that was a really fun game oh man I got some crazy characters on here. Good thing I got some grenades. I think I only have one left. Oh man, I got some blood there. That's pretty cool. Wow, you just keep going. That's the crazy thing. It's like, it's not really level to level. You just like keep going. Or maybe this is just a really long level. I don't know. Man. But all of this overhead military shooting game, for me, I think the first experience I had was with uh, Commando. You know, and... I think Commando was made by uh, Capcom, you know, and so, so Mercs was in a lot of ways. It was like a sp spiritual successor to Commando in a way, a modern one. Oh look, I got a spread gun. There's the there's the contra part. Oh man, I just died. <laughs> Let me see if I could get a little further on this because I really don't remember if, if this is still the first level or not. And I, I I like this variety, you know. The developers really took their time to add variety to this game, you know. As you can see here, I've gone through so many different types of environments. Um, I've gone from overhead to side, so it's pretty cool. So I think this is the boss. Oh yeah, this is like Rambo style for sure. Rambo three. Oh, I'll take him out. Oh, whoa. Yeah, he's. Yeah, that helicopter is sporting a lot more artillery than I got, but it's okay. I got unlimited quarters. Ooh. Yeah. Finally, wow, that was. Oh wait, that was stage two. Wow, cool. Yeah, so uh, that's Bloody Wolf. You know, um, for me, it's always gonna be a Turbo Graphics game to me. But this is actually originally an arcade game, as you can see by Data East. Um, yeah, it's a pretty fun game. You know, I mean, but I'm kind of partial to the, these military type games. I've always enjoyed them. So, yeah, if you had any thoughts on Bloody Wolf or any other military games that you remember it. Um, back in the day you know be sure to leave them in the comments area below and um, if you did get a lot of value out of these videos be sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you did want to support my channel further you can do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors all the information is in the description area below as well thanks for watching i'll see you on another episode thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.